Hello everyone and welcome to Red United TV. It's your boy Ivorian Spice back at it again with another match reaction. And remember guys, if you're new to the channel, remember to subscribe, smash that like button, remember to share because sharing Ivorian Spice is caring. Boom! And of course guys, not the usual saying, I have just moved and I'm in a new place, yes. Praise to God, praise the Lord and everything. Happy Easter, guys. And of course, I hope you had a lovely Easter. So no glasses today. It's just straight up raw because, of course, I haven't said it properly. So let's go straight into it. And today, guys, it's Manchester United 2, Brighton 1. Whew, three points in the bag. Shit performance. What can we say, guys? Happy for the three points disappointed in the performance but then again it's manchester united well this is what we're used to this is the norm this is like us wearing a mask to go out this is like the covid restrictions where you wear a mask it is the norm manchester united playing shit attacking boring attacking football is the norm it's just like wearing a mask outside it's normal it is normal to us bro we're used to it we drink it in and i know it's the return of the international week but come on come on Manchester United we did not dominate against Brighton we did absolutely F all up front you know that goalkeeper Brighton hardly got tested hardly and again 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 that our midfield our midfield is a polo you know what it actually is a polo you can just do this people can run through it and it, and it's not what it is what you think it is because it's not polo boom straight up in the middle Done. That's how easy it is for us and for our position to run straight through our midfield. Like our midfield is so weak. It's horrendous. Can't keep the ball, can't pass the ball, can't create nothing. No wonder why Cavani can't score. And no wonder why Martial can't score. Martial has been struggling to score for a very long time. And I know, guys, we won. I'm happy with the three points and everything. But overall, I want performance, man. It's, I just want the performance. Is that too hard to ask, guys? Manchester United, is it too hard for you to just play attacking football and get the three points? Guys, let's go straight into the game. Manchester United concede in the first goal from a well back. And to be fair, no one can blame Henderson because he did his best. He saved it and it ricocheted. And again, Welbeck headed the ball straight into the back of the net. And again, Welbeck keeps on hunting us, guys. Welbeck, do you not like us, fam? Do you not want to be... I know I know you was a Manchester United candidate graduate, but you're not supposed to score against us, fam. You're not supposed to do that. You're a Manchester United player. Thick, thick through thin through thick, whatever you say, because cause my tongue is twisted right now. But, well back, again, you was at Arsenal, you scored against us. And against uh, for Brighton, you scored against us. Do you not like us, bro? Do you not like us? You must like us. You have to. You're a Mancunian, born and bred. And you're doing this to us. Defensively, guys, we was horrible when we conceded that goal. And that first half was poor because what we did afterwards, nothing. Nothing. And this is what I keep saying. It's either the players or the coaches because something ain't right in this team. We created nothing in that first half. 1-0 and not going half time. I was there thinking, oh my God, I understand it's international week, but Lord, don't turn us into a Chelsea slash Arsenal after international break. We don't want to get wet. We don't want to get piped up. Piped up and we did not because the second half, of course, Marcus Rashford, although he played shit throughout the 90th minutes, he again does what he does best. Feed the goal, feed the children. You know what I mean, Marcus Rashford. Hit... MBE, you don't know, Sir Rashford. Although you're shit into 90 minutes, but yeah, you done your thing. Rashford again, showing his bravery, his courage, always showing up for Manchester United. School that equalising goal, that vital goal, and then afterwards, Mason Gunman Greenwood with the two-one with a lovely header as well, finishing it off, making us win two-one, which I was pleased with the result. Performance-wise, we was horrendous. We were Poor again, again and again and again, again and again, yeah, again and again, go up again and again, it was again and again, it was just so shit. Go with the ball, guys, we are so shit. So, I swear to God, if this was us in bed with our own partners, they will yawn about 50 times, 
In fact, they would have said the safety word pineapples, even though they didn't feel like they were not in danger because we did nothing. You know, we're still that guy. Bus one minute asking a woman, do you want some juice? Do you want some juice? I got some pineapple juice. Why would she want juice? He did nothing. Actually enough, she didn't even bust a sweat. You lasted one minute, Man United, and you're asking a woman, does she want some juice? What a joke. What a joke. But guys, Man United holics overall, again, brilliant three points. It's a shame about the performance. Man of the match today, I have to go to Mason Gunman Greenwood, my guy, my G, you done know, guys. Uh, I'm just glad for him to score, you know. It's been tough for him. The fact that he had to go to the under 21s England team and not in the first team, which I don't play in Gary Southgate, but the way Mason Green has been treated from the England team is it's just it's annoying. And it's the media as well. It's their fault as well, guys. Donkey of the match, I have to say, police effective today. I'm gonna have to go with Fred, guys. Fred was. What did he do? Nothing. Manchester United Hollocks. We played the Europa League on Thursday against Granada, aka Grenade. Hopefully they don't throw a grenade on us. Exactly. Hope so. Because I, I, I ain't down for catching a grenade for Manchester United. Hell no. They don't deserve that. Look at the way they treat us in the transfer markets and all that stuff. They treat us like sightings. They don't care about us. They never have for the last six, seven years. They never cared about us. We've been to arts in what's it called? Daddy, would you buy me a brand new car? He's like, mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's mentioned, yeah, I'll buy you a car. In fact, I'll buy you the box like our African parents tell us when we want something. They used to tell us that they'll buy us the box. And I'll be able to get excited and I'm thinking, wait a minute. What do you mean buy us the box? I think in life, like, buy us the box. Taking me for a muck. Anyway, guys, Manchester United Holics, man. You know what I mean? This has been your match reaction for my Roaring Spice. So of course, we'll back at it again with a podcast later on tonight. You know, the catch up volume 30. Yeah, make sure you catch that, guys. Live stream, of course, guys. And of course, guys, once I get back to my usual setting, you'll have my usual look. And of course, remember, guys, to follow the official Instagram account of Ready Night TV, which is Ready Night TV 1, baby, and the official TikTok account, which is Ready Night TV, and of course, follow my personal Instagram account, which is Elfruin underscore Spice, across the Twitter and also the Snapchat. And remember to subscribe, smash that like button, and remember to share, because sharing our boring spice is caring, you get me? And ladies, remember, as always, like I always say, you know, remember to share to your ex-boyfriend and also your current boyfriend. I'm just being quiet, because I don't want him to hear. Share it to him as well, and when they ask, what is this? Tell them you found a man that does it way better than you. You done, no? Peace out.